this is the main thing right now. This is where you go make money. Once you learn how to MIG weld and you can stick weld, you'll be rolling. These Everlast that I've been using though, they have a really, they have a really good inverter in them and they, they run good. I mean, these, these new machines, I mean, the old ones, you know, they were huge. They're big old drag around the shop, weighed 5,000 pounds. These are lighter, you know, they have some serious late model inverter technology that, you know, makes them powerful with just little. And they do, they retain power. But as far as affordable, these are affordable and good. If you guys ever want to get into a machine, let me know because these will, they do good. And <clears throat> being that it's a 212, it's a little, got a little bit more balls than like the 200s or 150s. They put a little bit bigger nozzle on here. So you could literally, you could probably run 045 through it if you wanted to and really it, it'd do it. But I mean, if for in the garage, building a chassis for your hot rod or building rod iron gates or fixing a pipe fence or pretty much 80% of your life, you can use one of those. I think what we'll do is maybe we'll wander up to the, I'm gonna go up to the garage. We'll walk through this place a little bit. I got some gloves up there for you guys. Try on, see if they'll fit you for our, cause I just decided that I'd give all you guys a pair of gloves. My new ones, have you seen them? Like the cowboy boot top ones? I don't know, are they lint around? Yeah. So you guys can go home and actually get started on some real welding. So once you leave here, you got your own gloves and you can kick ass. Just make sure you freaking wear them everywhere you go. I don't give a f you're going on a date. Put them fuckers on and drive your shit down the road. Dash. Yeah, put them on the dash. Have them everywhere. Have those fuckers everywhere. Your welder up gloves, you know? A little tour through the property. Let's head through here. Well, I'm glad our storm blew over. Look at that. Shit, that's right on. This is my little... <coughs> My little store that I put up. I haven't really opened it to the public yet, but I'm gonna work on it here soon. Turn that light on. Come on in. So what size hand are you guys? Like who's a, you're an extra large? Try this XL on. That looks good. That looks like that fits you good. How about that one? Yeah, yeah. Just keep those ones. And then you're probably a large too, huh? Yeah, so this is kind of my little design of gloves that I came up with. Bare Knuckle is a company I, teamed up with and then this was my idea and they seen it on TV and they're like, yeah, like we, we need to do something. So they're doing really good. We've been, we've been selling them pretty, pretty good. I want to start really marketing them and get them out there because they're just cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. Website? Just welder up. Okay. Yeah. You go to welder up and get them. Yeah. You can get them right off my website. All right. Well, let's go wander around and we'll go by the, maybe we'll go by that steam engine and show you guys some old techniques that these guys were doing. This is a 1910. So in 1910, you know, there's, there's really no welding on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Case 1910. Most of it's, you know, cast iron, but everything in it's riveted together. So if you can imagine this thing, the, the amount of pressure that it holds to make steam and that it's all riveted together. It's not even welded. It's pretty amazing. Um, what I think I'll do is probably pull a machine up here. We'll kind of tear it down and look at it, show you what the, you know, the basics of it. You know what I mean? A lot of the stuff you'll learn as you start using one, but I mean, I'll give you the basics of how they work, what's going on inside of them, shit like that. All right. So far, so good. Um, kicking off the new year with a MIG stick class. This is our first day. The first half of the day is always a little brutal because I have to go through terminology and trying to explain to the guys what is going on and what makes these machines work and how do you set them up and wire size to thickness to settings. But once we get through that, I'm like, okay, let's just weld because we don't have a lot of time to sit here and do textbook stuff forever. I want them to get hands on, get involved. You know, everybody's a little different. You got short people, you got tall people and everybody positions their bodies differently. So for me, I got to learn these guys and figure out where they're going wrong or what's uncomfortable for them. And, you know, we've struggled with that. I got two kids in here that I swear are six, four. Then I got a dad and a son in here that are like, you know, five, seven, five, eight, you know? So it's just trying to get these guys in their right, uh, mojo, get, get in position, feel them. You can hear, listen to that machine buzzing right now. I mean, these guys didn't even know how to weld hardly when they got here today. So 
They're already buzzing. We're into this thing three and a half, four hours right now. Um, by midday tomorrow, I'll be switching these guys to stick welding. We're doing a lot of practicing on flat stuff right now. These guys just started doing uh, lap joints and we're working on, we've, we've been through some T joints. We're gonna do butt joints probably in the morning. Let them work on all three until about noon tomorrow and then we're gonna start on some stick. But everybody's doing good. It's been a great day so far. A little cold here today, but, uh, but it's badass. We're having fun. Hey guys, day two here in Good Springs at the welding course. It's been a lot of fun. It's been great. I've got four young kids in here um, that are wanting to learn how to weld. I love that. It's been great. We also, for the 2026 new year, everybody that takes the course is gonna get a pair of the all around welding gloves. Um, everybody in here is wearing them. They're loving them. They fit good. These ones that I got on right now, I think I got about six months into them now. I've tortured them pretty hard. So, I mean, I love them. I love them. So if you guys are entering up for the course, you got one uh, at the end of this month, February, possibly March, um, you will get a pair of gloves when you guys enter up. So we'll see you here. So we're just wrapping up another great weekend um, out here in Good Springs. We had a great, great course this time. I had a bunch of uh, young kids in here, which was awesome to see. Um, a lot of them was the, the dads just, you know, went ahead, paid for their trip down and, and put them in through the course. And I, I like to see that. Um, and they all um, responded really well to the course. I mean, these kids all wanted it and they loved it. And um, it was so much fun. I got to know some new people. These courses are great because a lot of it's just motivational. I'm motivating these kids and I'm motivating them to go to the next level. And it's not just about welding. It's about getting this next generation up and going. So we're pretty excited about that. It was a lot of fun. Um, if anybody is eager and wants to join our next course, make sure that you guys interrupt um, and come down here to Southern Nevada, or if you're wherever you're at around, come hang out with us. It's gonna be fun. And remember, if you, if you sign up, you get here, you get some of the all around. So we'll see you here. We're gonna start off by seeing your name or where you're from. Uh, my name is Nick Roy. I'm from Ontario, Canada. How are you liking the course? Right now? Honestly, I'm enjoying it a lot. I've welded before, but this is kind of getting like my bad habits out of the way from not learning the right way. Grant, I'm from Sacramento, California. Yes, it is a lot more different than a lot of the other classes that I've taken or schooling that I've gone to. And I like that it's a lot more one-on-one. -on -one. There's no judgment between the other people taking the class as to like, oh, that weld looks bad or everything's welcome. And it's, it's a nice feeling. Uh, my name's Cruz Berkeley. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona. I love it. I'm learning so much stuff and I'm just wait like shooting my skills so much farther. Clay Barnes, Benton, Kentucky. How are you enjoying it? I love the gloves. Uh, I think these are genius. Um, I will absolutely show them to everybody I know. Um, I, I think it's awesome. I, I'm very impressed with them so far. So. Honestly, some of the most comfortable gloves I've worn so far, they're really, uh, they're thin so you can feel a lot of what you're doing and uh, they look amazing. I love them. It, I like how uh, thin they are. You can actually move your fingers around in them. Oh, they're so comfy. I'm gonna buy like way more Paris in the future. I love them. My name's Ed. This is my son, Joey. From right. We're from um, Chicago, Illinois. They're really good gloves. They fit well. They've got a, they're thin, so you've got a good feel for the, the material that you're working with. I also love the like the like the new cowboy boots, you know, the Western wear on it. I wear a lot of boots myself, and you know, I thought that's really cool design of how the um, the material is, and uh, yeah, I really like that. Hey guys, if you've been thinking about TIG welding and you want to learn, I've got one spot left from the 29th to the 31st of January. 
So if you guys are interested and want to get in there on the new year and learn your TIG welding skills, um, come on down. I mean, sign up and uh, come hang out with us for the weekend. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, if you missed out on the MIG course, we're going to do another one in February, and that will be from the 19th to the 21st of February. So if you want to get in on some MIG, book it now and get out here. Right now is the best time of the year because it's cool out here. It's not real hot. And if you guys are interested in the all around welding gloves, we will have them here. We'll have them during the course and you can pick them up right here. If you guys uh, are coming to weld, we'll uh, get you a pair out here. So come down, join us and I'll see you here.